Merry Christmas and a very, very happy New Year. We just didn't know what to do for you for Christmas and finally came to the conclusion that you might like a tape that was made by all of us. Later on in the tape, there is a, a song concert, uh, which Jermaine directed, incidentally, and of course Helen Curry played the organ over at Christ the King Church. I do hope that you will enjoy them and that you'll find some of your favorites there. I think you'll also enjoy the musical accomplishments of the children. Harry is coming along splendidly on the violin, having had only seven lessons. Claire continues to practice the piano, and I think that someday she will do very well. Johnny is very active in the band at Seattle Prep and is having an awful good time. And now all of them want this opportunity to express their wishes for a very happy holiday to both of you individually. And so first of all, here's Claire. Hi, Grandmother and Grandfather. This is Claire. We got out of school yesterday, and Harry and I don't have to go back until January 6th. It hasn't snowed out here yet, but the weather is rainy. Did you like my piano piece? I was practicing Christmas Carol, but I didn't start it soon enough. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Now when I look at this one, I can hardly call him a child. He's taller than I am, skinny as a rail, eats us out of house and home. But I, in fact, as all of us are hoping that Johnny is going to make us very proud of him, and I'm sure that he will. Now here, of course, is John, our first. Dear grandmother and grandfather, this year is my first year of high school. I'm going to Seattle Prep. It's a good school and it's run by the Jesuits. I sure get a lot of homework, but still I have time to play in the school band and write for the school newspaper. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And now we have our least one, Harry, who keeps our life interesting and perplexing by his many questions and activities. I know that Harry is saying his little message to you with Holly's heart, and here he is, Harry. Your grandmother and grandfather, I want to wish you a, wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I go to Lady Lake School now, and I'm in sixth grade. I want to thank you for the violin. I forgot to write to you about it, and thank you. Here's my chance now. Thanks for the violin. As my dad has already said, I've only had seven lessons. Now um, we turned out for basketball up in the Lady Lake gym, and I'm having a swell time playing basketball. Merry Christmas and happy. And now our one and only, our pride and joy, the one that makes things go around here, ever lovely, wonderful, Jermaine. Jill sounds like he's trying to be an announcer on daytime television. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> well, Bedlam reigns supreme, as usual, two or three days before Christmas. I don't know how we're going to get everything straightened out, but we always do somehow. So um, I just wish you were here to share the confusion. It's always a lot of fun. We have a big turkey that we're going to throw out. and Not throw out, thaw out. <laughs> Claire's been baking cookies, and so have I, so I think we're going to have a lot to eat. And um, the children are kind of worried. They haven't seen any presents come in, but we told them we'd get them delivered at the last day so they couldn't peek. So uh, that's about all. I think Joe's going to sign off now. Well, and from all of us, and we are all going to say it together, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now don't go away because there's a lot more to come. We've had an awful time trying to splice this, and we spent most of Saturday afternoon trying to get this thing together, and I don't know what the other side's going to sound like, but we're going to hope for the best. Mom and Dad, this is Claire playing the piano, the Mozart minuet from Don Juan.
so good. Pat and Paul started a little fight, but Pat didn't do anything to Paul. Pat doesn't know anything else, as Mary had a little lamb. <coughs> Pat, do you ha Pat, can you sing The Barber Cuts My Hair? Yes. Mr. Barber Cut My Hair. Why I said in a big, big tail, never would have built, never would have built. Mr. Bobble got my hair. Pat, do you know any other songs you can sing? Yeah, Humpty Dumpty. No, Pat, do you know anything except Humpty Dumpty? Yeah. Alright, sing Humpty Dumpty. Okay. Hum Humpty Dumpty sit on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a fall. Arky horses and arky mess. Cut up the Humpty and get a one again. Alright, Pat, can you sing that song that you learned this morning? What? You were in school that you learned today? Five little reindeer? Mm hmm. Okay. Pat is going to sing the five little reindeers. Five little reindeers are coming this way. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Santa Claus, woo! That was Pat, that was very nice. Paul had a little bitty song to sing. My grandfather talked with me, talked for the chills. So it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by far than the old man himself. But it weighed not a penny, weight more. It Paul doesn't know anything else, he forgot it. Alright, Pat, do you have anything to say? Yeah. Oh, it's a Humpty Dumpty. Oh, no, not that again, Pat. Hey, Pat, can you, um, can you say any, can you, you know, um, do you know that song about the barber? I yeah. sit in the big, big chair. The barber cuts my hair while I sit in the big, big chair. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Pat will sing the barber cuts my hair. Mr. Barber cut my hair. Why I said in a big, big tail. Lip over the sails. Lip over the hill. Mr. Barber cut my hair. Very good, Pat. That was Pat singing Mr. Barber cuts my hair. Six. Six. Is that right? Is that right? Well, Henry has to go tomorrow, doesn't he? Well, all right, Paul. I think has something to read, but I won't let him read all of it. It's too much. All right, all right, hey. All right, Paul's going to read. That my stuff. 
The fruit tree was in a big room. Many little children were looking up at it. The fruit tree had, I mean, heard the children singing. He, he was, I mean, he saw them. Dancing. He saw them dancing. Well, that's all Paul read. He didn't know two. He didn't know two words. He didn't know fur and dance. Right. Just stop the heart. Pat has something he would like to say. Well, Pat doesn't know anything to say. All he said was Humpty Dumpty. Paul has something to say. We'll only say one thing, Paul. Paul, I want you to say 20 nickels equals how much? 20 nickels. Paul is going to play the piano. That was Paul. That, but, goodbye. Do you think I'm doing? Yeah, you're doing. I don't know. What do you think I'm doing? Am I playing it? Mm -mm. Recording it? I don't know. I'm running it. And I'm running it. Or did I stop it? Or did I did go forward? I think I think you're making it go. Go forward? I think you're... Uh, <laughs> Paul is going to answer. I think Pat has something to say. All right, Pat. Paul, Pat. Well. All right, Pat. Let's sing the old mother and the witch. The old, the old mother witch together. Oh, mother witch, witch fight in the ditch. Pick, pick up the penny and fuck the old witch. All right, Pat. Let's sing the barber cuts my hair. Mr. Barber cut my hair while I sit in the big big chair. Snipple will yell, snipple will yell. Pat, can you sing Oh Mother Witch? Yes. Oh Mother Witch, fall in the dish. Pick up the penny and the fall who was rich. But right, that was Pat. I'm six foot. Ow. Nine and nine. Oh, see that light. That light works better now. Pat? Isn't that right, Pat? Say it. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. What did you do in school today, Pat? I wrote. Are you going to have a play this year? Are you going to go on the stage this year? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Well, I'm surprised. What are you going to say when you get on stage? I'm going to sit down. You're going to sit down? In the seat. In the seat? Mm-hmm. What, are you, aren't you going to sing or say something? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to say? Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Oh, can you say it for us now? What can you say? Oh, Mother Witch, fought in a dish. Picked up the penny and I fought who was rich. Oh, is that all you want to say? Oh, it is. So let's see what it sounds like. Uh, <laughs> Gary will sing it. 
Well, go ahead and say something, Paul. Sleeping room comes to the hospital. Claire, Claire found many friends. New. Many new friends in the hospital, but he. But her. But her. Best. Best friends were. Tom, Tim, Tim, and the news the boy. News boy. Now, do you want to hear what the? yourself and then I'll listen to you. Because you're doing a lot better after you lose hey. once only a felt. What shall I do? A lot of frogs came a loping, 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 a I, I got huh? I can What's the matter with you, Pat? Listen! What have you been doing? What are you doing to this guy? I'm uh, beating you way up. Huh? <laughs> what You're both beating each other up, aren't you? No, you just think about it. Oh, I got a song. You're a grand old flag. You're a high flying flag. May you ever in peace, may you wave. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true neath the
a spot in me heart which no calling may own. There's a death in me soul never summed or known. There's a place in my memory, my heart that he filled. No other can take it. No one may. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh 